place the reagent and patient sample racks into the AmpliPrep system. Here's how it works. The left transfer arm moves the sample processing unit into a 60 degree incubator. The reagent tip is washed every time it pipettes a reagent. The AmpliPrep system pipettes in the QS, Lysis, and Probe reagents. The system moves the patient specimen tube into the sample processing unit rack, automatically opens the lid of the tube, and pipettes the specimen into the 60 degree processing chamber using a dedicated single use pipette tip. There, the reagents and the specimen are mixed, and the specimen tube automatically closed. This part of the process lyses the viruses. The DNA or RNA is freed from the viral capsid. The reagents used also protect the nucleic acid from RNases or DNases. When lysis is completed, the whole sample processing unit moves to the 37 degrees incubation chamber. The pipette moves the liquid from the left to the right chamber of the unit. As the reagent specimen mix cools down, hybridization takes place. A biotinylated capture probe is bound to the target RNA or DNA forming a probe target complex. After a cool down, the reagent tip is washed and then picks up the magnetic particles coated with streptavidin and adds them to the reagent specimen mix. This initiates the capture phase. The probe target complex is bound to the magnetic microparticles coated with streptavidin. Thanks to these magnetic particles, the complex can be immobilized and washed. The instrument moves the entire sample processing unit to the separation station where the captured target is washed. A magnetic wash wheel moves the magnetic beads to the side of the tube to facilitate thorough washing and the elimination of PCR inhibitors. Washing with special reagents purifies the captured RNA or DNA target. The sample processing unit is transferred to the resuspension station. The reagent tip of the second transfer arm picks up specimen diluent and a clean gray topped output tube is brought from the patient sample output rack. The specimen diluent is added to resuspend the magnetic particles. The resuspended patient specimen is pipetted in the new output tube. The 
The waste chamber is sealed off by the sample tip. The output tube is placed back on the patient sample rack. The captured RNA or DNA target is resuspended in a buffer, which is optimized to enhance the PCR reaction. That's it. As you see, manual steps are limited to loading and unloading. Prepared patient specimens can be stored or added to the master mix for amplification and detection using the Cobas AmpliCore. And the Cobas AmpliPrep system meets the automation criteria defined by clinical laboratorians worldwide.